Hello beautiful and amazing people, today I will tell everything you need to know about Dark Side, how to create perfect evil character in Bio Mutant, and oh boy those abilities, damn on Dark Side is pretty pretty dope, but first things first guys, before you will create your character, you have to understand that everything in this game evolves around Tree of Life. And if you're gonna choose Dark Side, your objective is basically to kill this tree. But if you will be on good side, you will go all in to save that tree. And that actually gives us two endings that's great for replayability. But before we get to customization and character creation, to put everything in perspective, guys, bio mutations and seed powers will be improved with your intellect. That's really important. And guys, our dark side mutations and skills are sizzle ball and for that you need 10 points from dark aura second is telekinesis and for that you need 20 points from dark aura and c points as well but damn look at this footage it's so dope you are like dark vader in bio mutant look at that levitation super dope skill i just want to go to dark side to get these skills alone and third one is sky spark for that you need 18 c points and 30 dark hour points unfortunately this works only outside but look how it works it's absolutely magical super overpowered and definitely i will go and grab these abilities but like i told you before and showed you that you need intellect to optimize psi power and bio mutations that's really vital that you understand it before you create your own character and first things first if have to choose your breed and in bio mutant we have six breeds primal is kind of mediocre dum dum is more for strength and melee damage rex damn rex it seems the golden ticket for us because it has intellect boost and all other attributes are kind of nice Free from other hand is absolutely powerhouse in intellect department but it lacks vitality and you lose critical chance in leg department and part I don't know man right now it looks like a bad bad trade-off to me but who knows maybe when full game will be out I will change my opinion we will see but six breed in this game is Morgul and that actually is pretty decent especially if you wanna make run and gun build after that when you will choose your breed you will basically mutate your character and what it means you will spread attribute points across the board it depends what build you wanna make and as I, as I told you before again I will repeat myself one more time we need intellect to improve our mutations and of course psi power so you will basically spread your spread you, you will spend your points somewhere between agility and intellect. If you're gonna make melee build, and I think at my second playthrough I will make Kung Fu Panda style build, I will go definitely with strength and with health to make tankier ninja kind of build. After that, you have to choose resistances. I would recommend actually go right now here straight in the middle because you don't know what awaits us out there. So keep that in mind. After you will spend your attribute points, next thing you have to choose is class. And that is pretty dope with weapons, commando, oh no, armor. I think commando is huge, no, no. But <laughs> at this point, you know where I'm going. We will take Psy, free Psy Freak, sorry for my French, just look at this amazing footage. How dope is that, man? You levitate, shock everybody with your lightnings, you have telekinesis from dark side, and damn, those mutations are so, so par powerful, and of course, don't forget that levitation will help you as well to explore your surroundings and since day one Bio Mutant developer said that this map will be something else. You will find a lot of loot everywhere, you will find story side quests, so definitely levitation will be handy. 
and other classes, man, we have Sentinel, Saboteur from other hand will be pretty dope with melee builds, so Saboteur will be go-to with melee builds, and after you will choose your class, next thing will be to find your allies or in this case tribe and maybe you have seen some footage from this game basically from the get-go you have to choose your tribe and in this game we have six tribes three good ones three bad ones pretty self-explanatory guys what's great about this system that actually you are not tied to any of these tribes you can change it all the time it doesn't matter where are you on the story you can switch your tribes and by defeating other tribe leaders you can actually get legendary guns super dope combination and you can actually do a real melee legendary guns or maybe pistols assault rifles you name it so dual wheeling is really really cool in this game unfortunately we don't have dual guns in division 2 I'm asking for this upgrade, I don't know, for three, four years now. Anyway, brother, we have a lot of a lot of news coming on this channel. If you wanna be updated, all the best builds, guns, or maybe guides to do some farming, you know where you have to be. Hit that like, share this video, and thank you for watching. Bye.